Mathematics never lies to you. That's what I find fascinating. It radiates into all sorts of other fields, in, into physics, into biology, chemistry. With all the things and, and nice technology that we have today, if you trace it back, it goes back to mathematics. I'm Gustav Holzegel. I'm a professor of pure mathematics at Imperial College London. Einstein provided us with a theory of general relativity, which describes our, our universe in large, and what his equations relate is the curvature of space-time to the matter content in the space-time. Even a hundred years later, we're still struggling to fully understand them, because these equations are highly non-linear, and non-linear equations are in general very difficult to solve. One of the most fascinating predictions of, of these equations is the existence of black hole solutions. People are fascinated by black holes because of their astrophysical properties, but trying to understand the stability of these objects within the theory provides a mathematical challenge. This black hole stability problem has been looked at very intensely for the past 15 years, but you know there was a very crucial step missing. I found a mechanism why stability is true for these true equations that describe the black hole. Once you've understood how one black hole behaves near equilibrium, you could start trying to understand two black holes. We're many years away from understanding this mathematically, but people put this on a computer and can see what happens. Working with the team is one of the nicest parts of my job because you have a continuous influx of young people, of new ideas, and I love how everybody's different, how everybody thinks differently about mathematical problems and how you can combine different strengths in your team. Understanding the Einstein equations will provide us with a deeper understanding of our universe. Why are we here? Why did the universe come into being? How do black holes behave? I think this belongs to the most basic questions that mankind has asked since the beginning. It tells us more about ourselves. Of course you can ask, and then what? That's another nice thing about science. With every question that you answer, 10 new ones pop up.